Good morning, guys. Welcome back. Championship day here on Fishing with Nordby. We are at Eufaula, Oklahoma. Stop number three, day three on the road to the Bass Pro Tour here at the Major League Fishing Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit event. We're sitting in 33rd out of 150. We got to go whack them today. Move up. Just got up, finished downloading footage while I was sleeping last night. Let's pray it downloads right, because if it doesn't, then my cards are full and I can't film for y'all. So, it, it all downloaded. That's good. Every day is downloaded great. And, I'm going to put on the hoodie. The temperature dropped last night. It got down to 44, the coldest it's been by over 10 degrees. It hasn't gotten below like 56, 58 at night. So, it's going to be a little cold today. But, I'm going to eat some oatmeal. I'm going to get the camera gear ready and we'll see you out on the water in a few. Okay, here we go guys. We are getting ready to head to the takeoff point. We got six minutes before we take off. I'm excited. We did the national anthem. We did the prayer. It's going to be a good day. We got about a 20 minute run in the wind and waves, but it's only eight miles an hour. It'll be a little choppy, not too bad. Yesterday was 15 at takeoff and you saw what happened when we got to our first spot. Uh, yeah, that was nuts. But we got the boat. The boat handled it great. But some of my equipment got a little loose. <laughs> if, you, if you didn't see the, the tournament the last two days or the practice video, go back and watch those. Championship Sunday. Here we go. Let's, let's swing for the fences, make a big comeback, and hopefully get on the fives and sixes. I'm excited. We've been seeing them. Maybe they'll bite today. Maybe they'll bite. Let's go get them, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We'll see you at stop number one here about... 20 minute run. Whoo, all right, here we are. Stop number one. Let's get my net. And we are going to get some thump gel out. I forgot to get it out. But it would have bounced all over the place because I didn't have it in my pocket. We're gonna throw that old chartreuse juice on it today. And throw in the jig trailer one. This is gonna be the deal. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and throw it on my Nico and my shaky head. Straight.
Yeah. Little guy. That is not gonna keep. But fun. Fun to have a fish in the boat already. Please, Pete. Nope, it's a little guy. It's a crappie. Are you serious? <laughs> I think the crappie are out here busting on Shad. That's crazy. A crappie on a Nika worm. Fat crappie. <laughs> wow. Thought I had me a bass. That's funny. There's so many crappie in this lake. Little guy, shoot. Baby. Come on, be a keeper. It's pretty small. Baby. Another baby. Another baby. Man, that fish was hitting it like crazy. He never took it. Now he's got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you guys could see my rod tip on that. It was like definitely a spotted bass. It was like tick, 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 tick. He never took it. Got it. Thank you, Lord. All right. That was sweet. He bit this for him for a little while. He bit three times. Finally made him mad enough to get the hook. <laughs> Keeper number one. He is tatted up. That is a cool fish. All right. Thank you, Lord. Tatted up. Took forever to catch the first keeper today. He's gonna be probably right at two pounds. 229, okay. That's better than two pounds. Thank you, Lord. The old Nico rig on a bed, that's fun. Took him a while to bite, man. 
about 10 minutes. That dunk gel on there, he just couldn't resist it. Hit it three different times. Little Nico rig. baby come on fish get bigger get bigger still getting bites a lot of little ones today there's a lot of big fish in here I don't know why we're catching so many of the little ones flakes loaded with big ones baby my goodness <laughs> wow no wonder I didn't know if there's a fish on there <laughs> it felt just a tiny bit mushy but not very mushy almost didn't set the hook let's go to the other side Come on, be a keeper. Nope. Not. Not gonna keep. Man, he picked it up and ran at me. Felt like a good one for a minute. Goodness, another dink, really? <laughs> That's just crazy to me. Catch so many good ones in practice, and then you can't get a 14 incher in the tournament. 13 and a quarter. <laughs> hey, it's another bite, though. Still fun. Still fun. I just keep thinking it's going to be a good one. I'm waiting on that good one. It's gonna happen. You just gotta have a little more patience.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Caught a, a gillion. Wow. I got a big one. It's like, I don't know if I should set the hook. I don't know if I had it. Oh, it had it. I think there's one on the bed here. Stole my worm. Bit twice. Not picking it up like a bluegill. Picking up like that bass I caught on the bed did earlier and just it's picking it up and just dragging it. So just get off my bed. Can't see the bed. But it's just how how this fish is acting. There we go, first cast with the Nico. We got us one. He's not going to measure. Another baby. Wow. 12 inches. There's one. Oh, keep. I think that one's actually gonna keep, maybe. It's gonna be really close. He's short and fat. He probably won't. Wow. Come on. Touches. He touched. Barely. Thank you, Lord. All right. Number two, 's eating the the Nico guys that's a good sign though little guy baby baby spotted bass not gonna make sure So many little fish today, this is crazy.
maybe. Probably won't be 14. No. Thirteen and a half. So close. Thirteen and a half. There we go. There's a good one, guys. Finally a keeper. All right, thank you, Lord. Wow. I got a third keeper, let's go. He is barely a keeper. Happy to have him. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> He is 198. Number three. He fought hard. Really hard for a little guy. Baby, gosh. <laughs> wow. What is the deal with the babies in this lake today? That's crazy. About to go get beat up. Caught about 30 fish and only had three of the major. Wow, wow. With nice. the other whale, but I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Well, the fish are in all three phases. They're all around the spawn. Yes, yes. We Most of them are pre-spawn, though, from what I found. Gotcha. Okay. You ready for, uh, we're going to Lake of the Ozarks. Take this momentum train to Missouri. Yep, got to stop at Chickamauga first, try and win the next Toyota. Finish top 10 last two years, then we're going to the Ozarks. See what God has for us. I love it, man. Go get that W. You Thank do a great job, Thank buddy. You. Good job. Love Andrew. Love Dan. Just getting home from the Ufala tournament, guys. That was awesome. What a fun week of fishing. We cashed our first check, our first pro check in a pro tournament. Eight grand to top 50. So what a blessing to make that top 50. Fish day three. So fun. So fun. Uh, the boat's riding great. Love it. Uh, God's just doing some awesome things. So I'm excited for the next one. We're going to be fishing Chickamauga next. 
one of my favorites. We've had two top tens in a row there. The last two years, we got fourth and seventh. Last year, we got fourth. Hopefully, we'll bring home the win this year. And then we have Lake of the Ozarks after that. The next pro circuit event, the Chickamaugas at Toyota, the Ozarks is a Tackle Warehouse pro event. So excited for those. Uh, we're going to feed Ned here in a minute. I actually got him a crawfish, so I'm excited. I want to share a little verse with you first. It's actually in Matthew and Luke both. Uh, Jesus says it a couple times. He says, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Whatever you're putting in is, is what's going to manifest and come out, guys. It's what's... It's what you're going to say. You know, if you're constantly uh, filling yourself with dirt, you're probably going to have dirt coming out of you. If you're filling yourself with love, you're going to have love coming out of you. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So be careful what you're putting in, what you're looking at, what you're spending your time doing, because that's what's going to start coming out of you. If you're filling yourself with bitterness, hatred, anger, jealousy, covetousness, that's how you're going to start talking. That's how you're going to start thinking. And I don't want you guys to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, and then your response also determines your results. So if you're having this negative stuff come out of you, if that's how you're responding to situations, they're just going to get worse. You're going to have worse results. If you see a bad situation and you confront it with love, and you have a good response to that, you're going to see positive results. You're going to see, see beneficial results. So just, just think about that. Fill yourself with good things. Watch what's coming out of you when you speak. If you're like, man, why did I say that? Uh, just repent and turn and uh, have a good response because your response determines your results in a lot of situations. So had a good week. You follow now let's feed Ned. Ned's been, Ned's been here holding the fort down. What up, Ned? Got him a few crawfish. Ooh, don't want to get pinched. There we go. Check that out. The old Alabama crawl. Ooh, that's a big crawdad for Ned. Get him, Ned. Get him. He said, no, he's got his claws up. Oh, oh. Come on, get him, Ned. Ned don't know about this one. Oh, he sees those claws go up and he just stops. This is cool. I wonder if this is how fish react to our bait sometimes. Wow, Ned did not eat the crawdad yet. Let's get him a a couple little bluegill get him fired up. He missed him. He missed him. Got him. He doesn't see that one. This crawdad is going to be hanging out for a couple days, I think, until Ned gets some courage to suck him in. Uh, get him, Ned. Nope. Well, he did not eat that big old crawdad like I thought he would try to. He's going to. I bet it happens tonight or when I'm not watching him, but that was awesome. Ned's the man. Oh, he's going for that bluegill. He just got that bluegill out of the corner right now. Oh. It's getting away from him, actually. <laughs> there he goes. He just smoked it. That's awesome. Well, God bless. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll catch you on the next episode here at Fishing with Norby.